Let's get started on our painting. Firstly, I will create an empty file. And I will place an empty grey layer on the bottom layer. This is for convenience. I make the file size quite large in this, because we will need additional side lines, the so-called vanishing lines, which we will use to correctly position the object in our picture. To see the boundaries of our future picture, I will cover our picture on top with a black layer, and with the help of a mask I will make a square window on it. So, we can observe the boundaries of our future picture, and at the same time, vanishing points and additional lines will be located on the left and right and will not interfere with the perception of our picture. First of all, I will create the horizon line. To do this, I will take a red brush and draw a parallel line on a new layer. To draw a parallel line, I do it while holding down the shift key. I reduce the opacity of the top layer a little bit so we can see the side surface areas of our picture. I sign here that this is a horizon line. Now I will draw the future location of corner of our room and the future location of the walls in the room. In this case we have an inner corner. Let me remind you that vanishing lines are lines that form the edges of an object shape, taking into account their distance from the observation point, and which show the position of the object in perspective. And the vanishing point is the point at which the vanishing lines connect. As we can see in the figure, all parallel lines, if they continue to infinity, they will connect at one point, and this will be our central vanishing point. We also need two additional side vanishing points. So, placing objects along and parallel to the vanishing lines, we will correctly position our objects in space.
using a white paint brush on a new layer, I will draw the vanishing lines. I will copy this layer. I will make a copy and I will reflect it vertically. Thus, we get two vanishing points on the left and right. I will place these layers in a group and call this group perspective lines. And also, for convenience, I will reduce the transparency of this group. This way, we made the side vanishing lines and the side vanishing points. Now I will do the same to draw center vanishing points and center vanishing lines. I have set the center vanishing point. I will copy the vanishing lines already drawn early and I will place it closer to the central point. I will also reduce the transparency of our layer. Now I can see that the abutment lines of the right side wall to the floor do not line up with the perspective lines. I will need to reposition this line and make it parallel to the vanishing lines. I will remove the unnecessary part of the line using a mask. I duplicate our vanishing lines layer and make a flipped vertically copy in order to draw the left side of the center vanishing lines. Now I can draw the location of the right wall of our room. The my thing is that our lines are parallel to the vanishing lines. A rough sketch of our room. Now I will conditionally draw the walls in our room. For this, I found a file with striped lines. 
I will drag it to our picture. And all I have to do is do the lines of my wall were parallel to the vanishing lines. So I have drawn the back wall. I will decrease transparency for convenience. I will copy this layer and I will make the right wall of our room. Using the transformation tool, I will achieve that the lines of our wall were parallel to the vanishing lines. I will do the same to sketch the left wall. I decided to make the side vanishing points just as noticeable as a central point. So I copied the center circle and I will make the same circles on the sides, so that you can better see the side vanishing points. By removing the opacity of the top layer, we can now to see a sketch of our empty room. Now let's add a sketch of the door to our drawing. I found the door as one of the pictures on the internet. And now I will try to place it on our sketch. As I can see, our slightly ajar door does not match the perspective lines we have on the left, because the opening angle of the door is a little different. So I will copy our vanishing lines and will move it a little more to the left. Now I will place our door along the new vanishing lines. Now that we have new vanishing lines, we can achieve the correct position of the door. We just need the top and bottom lines of the door were parallel to the new vanishing line. I use the transform tool to the size and position of the door.
I add the skit of the commode to our drawing. Brewing sketch. Don't forget about the order of the layers. I need the broom to be behind the commode, so I will change the positions of the layer in the layer palette. It's time to add sketches of our models to our sketch. To do this, I photographed and converted the pictures to JPEG to see them in Photoshop. I will roughly circle our picture by pen tool. By clicking the right mouse button in the drop-down menu, I will select the item Make Selection. After confirming by clicking on the OK button, we get our selection. Clicking on our resulting selection with the right mouse button in the menu, I select the item Layer via Copy. So, I will copy our selection to a new layer. Now. I will place the sketch of the boy in the sketch of the picture. I will do the same operations with the sketch of the other models.
I will add the skirt of a kitten to our picture. Brand sketch. dishes and household items. Eggshell. Here I will also draw object that I would like to see in my picture.
In this place, behind the boy's back, will be a fireplace. I did not find a fireplace on internet. Therefore, I found a drawing of a stove and placed it behind the boy's back. I will give the stove a more regular shape using perspective warp tools so that it is located along the vanishing lines. Here, some of my thoughts on how to orange object in the picture. My creative anguish ended up that I decided to get rid of the left wall, move the door to the back wall. So, the general structure of my Python has changed. So, it seemed to me more dynamic. This completes the sketching of my painting. In the next tutorial, we will start adding texture to my painting.